Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know It All. Guess where I am? With my friend who I'll, I'll let you say your name if you want to because I know you're semi uh, anonymous, but we are at SpaceX's Hawthorne headquarters. Yeah, look at how big that producer is. This is historic. This is numero uno, December of 2015, if I'm remembering correctly. First rocket that vertically landed without, without RUD. And uh, it's, I think a lot of people now associate SpaceX with Boca Chica and Texas, but of course, this is where they started. This is uh, Hawthorne, California, corner of Crenshaw and uh, Rocket Road. <laughs> so yeah, and I, I can't remember if this was their original, original location, but it's, you know, it's just an industrial area and there's, you know, this is by far the tallest thing. As I was driving here, I went down, uh, it was Manhattan Beach Boulevard, whatever that turns into, and then I took a left on Crenshaw about a two miles from here, and I looked down and it's just a straight road, and this sucker is the by far the tallest thing around. And one of the things we were talking about is just how big this rocket is when you get close to it, and probably on video you can't see it, but these, these legs are massive. Like, it's really amazing. And when you see them come down and it lands and they go whoosh, like that really quickly, it's uh, it's very impressive to think about something that size moving that rapidly. And then, of course, shock absorbing the whole thing. So, um, yeah, so this is, you know, this is the OG SpaceX. And I don't know, I'll take the camera for a minute and you can talk about it because you've sure. also got, you've got the Everyday I got the cool, Everyday like, astronaut. Yeah, you got it, you got sure. it. So Highly what do you recommend. think about this? this is, is this your first time actually getting close to it? Yeah, it's the first time so, being close to it. Yeah, it's really you big. live here. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, just trying to imagine like how much bigger would be the uh, even the Falcon 9 with the second stage, right, right. but also uh, the Starship, which you've seen. Yes, yes. Not I didn't get a chance to see it launch, but I did get a chance to like actually like see it uh, yeah. stacked and everything. And it's and, the and it is interesting when you see uh, actually every astronaut has a video where he goes through this like museum pieces and trying to figure out the engines, and you look at this right. here and you kind of see the. The engine, well, we cannot see everything, but right. it's almost like, can we guess which part does what? And you can right. almost see like uh, the joints, how they're connected. And it yeah. almost looks like they're experimenting still because it's like 2016, right? Yes, and exactly. And there's like a pipe and it's not just holding those two pieces of the right. leg together. It's like, oh, it's fine. It will fly. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of janky. You can sort of see how they put it all together. Then, of course, there's these little aerodynamic caps right there that uh, is, where the, is where these guys, the bottom, of, or the top of the feet, whatever. I guess it's the top at one point and the bottom when it there comes is, There down. is a, some but, sort of line going on the side, if you can yeah, see. Yeah, and the, yeah, the race. I wonder thing. if that's like electronics cables or right. the uh, RUD the system. To, and then of course there's the, yeah, I, I'm sure they, I hope, I hope they don't have the auto-destruct systems. <laughs> that. that would be bad. But of course the grid fins. So this was very much an experimental vehicle because, and then of course, oh, I should focus on that because, you know, that's very cool. Space errors. Uh, yeah, very cool. But yeah, this was an experimental vehicle because they'd blown up, I uh, don't even remember how many before they finally got this one to work. But um, it was a big deal when it actually happened. And uh, again, I think what, you, what we were saying before we started rolling was, it, it looks a little bit primitive. I've seen later versions of it at the, um, uh, when you go to Boca Chica, you can actually see like later versions of this, and they look like they've reduced, they've removed reduce a lot. mass, remove mass. Yeah, they've removed mass yeah. because these um, these shock absorbing landing legs huge. are are just massive. They look yeah, like I mean, actually, if, if you if you think about the <laughs> diameter of, of the leg and the right. diameter of the rocket, like it's significant. Yes, exactly. So the weight, the amount of weight that they had on this thing must have been crazy, but. You can see, it's just, it's, it's also just hard to, I don't know, whenever you see these things on video, you're like, yeah, yeah, it's tall, but it's really tall. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is different, different to sit in person. Yes, it feels absolutely. Different. That's always, you know, I, I hate to say it, but it's one of those things where video can never quite capture it. You know, I like, I climb mountains and stuff, and it's like you do videos of it, and people yeah. are like, oh, that's cool, you climbed a mountain, but... <laughs> and, like, and I did whatever. actually try uh, the <laughs> VR experience where you have the headset right, and right. you're supposed to look up and you see the Falcon 9 and, it, and it's somehow not the same. Yeah, it, it just isn't. There's, it's, I think the other thing, the biggest thing to me was because, I don't know, if we walk down here, we'll probably be able to see it. But this is a really, really straight road for a long ways. And you can see this rocket from really far away. <laughs> yeah, you get a hint of 
you know, it just, the road is like super straight. It's, it's that's California roads. But this thing is, is way taller than absolutely anything else. Is, and you is can that? see it from the highway. Yeah, you can see it from the highway too? Yeah. yeah, I don't know since I don't live here, but, but anyway, it's super cool. I think uh, if you go down to the end and they've got, did you go around to the, to the I, I uh, entrance? Oh, so if you go to their main entrance, because I was just using the GPS and I figured why not, there, when you go in, it says there's Rocket Road, which of course is where it's at. Yeah. And then it says, um, it says SpaceX this way, Boring Company, it's got an arrow pointing oh, that wow. way. And then it says Visitors, and it has like a U-turn arrow, which is unclear. Go away. Yeah, so I think it's like... <laughs> we don't have visitors. Unplugged <laughs> Performance is over there. I saw a sign. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, yeah. Unplugged Performance, okay. yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So there you go. So anyway, so there's some, there's some interesting stuff you can do. But, but yeah, it's kind of funny that they, um, they clearly have a... Oh, and so we got... Yeah, <laughs> there we go. It's a tourist attraction. Uh, they, they clearly have, have a little bit of humor. I mean, maybe it is actually serious, but... The U-turn seemed like it was Supposedly, just Supposedly, they, they reopened the uh, visitors uh, like for tours like a few months ago. They did? Yeah. I haven't That's heard what anybody I was told, who's gotten in. Yeah. You need to know people. Yeah. So anyway, here, hold this for a second for me. Yeah. There we go. So <laughs> I'm going to be here all week and you're going to be here permanently since you live here. So people want to do a tour. We would love to come in and, uh, and say hi, even if it's just going in the lobby. Because I know, you know, I know there's only so far you can go in terms of like going inside and seeing all the state secrets, but it'd be super cool to see the inside. But as far as the outside is concerned, it's really big. And the, the legs are, are really, when you see them in person, this first version, they're a little bit kludgy. They really look like they were still finalizing the design work and they didn't really know exactly. They, they knew what they were doing, obviously, and it landed and it was safe, but that, that reduction of mass and getting rid of things so that you could get more mass to orbit because of course every single kilo that you put on those landing legs is a kilo that you can't put into orbit. One, one, one seventh, I one think. One seventh, yeah. right. Yeah, because of course the first stage is not as important. Yes. It's actually weirdly enough since I just mentioned mountain climbing, they always say that one pound on your feet, like if you wear yeah. extra heavy boots, that's like wearing, uh, what is it, three pounds on your back. So oh, there's, a, there's a ratio, but this is the opposite. So you can do like seven kilos extra here mm. reduces the mass to orbit by one. But if you increase that on the second stage, it actually yes. is seven to seven. Yes. So, so anyway, it's, it's interesting, but clearly these things, and I'm working off my memory because I'm remembering what the Boca Chica one was like, which is a much later one, but it's much lighter and more refined. It doesn't have as much mass. I'm sure at the time they were, you know, they were landing and it was kind of just <laughs> they, so they, they, because it's landing and surviving, they can take it apart and look like exactly. what's the damage, right. can we get rid of another kilo here, another like right. gram here. Well, and the first landings were pretty hard. Because yeah. of course this thing says when it lands, the propulsive landing, the thrust of the single Falcon 9, of the single Merlin, uh, is greater than the weight of the empty rocket. Yes, yeah, so they're they suicide born. They can't do this hover thing. It's right. basically just come down, land, when you hit zero, turn it off or else you'll just go flying Correct. back up. Suicide so, burn. Yeah, suicide, there's a suicide burn. So they had to be, they had to over-engineer the legs at the beginning, and you can definitely tell that. You can these, tell. Which is very cool that they did that. But now, once they figured it out, they can, of course, keep stripping mass and stripping mass and stripping mass, but super interesting stuff. So anyway, thank you uh, so much for, for being here, and thank everybody for watching. And uh, I don't know if you got any other places. I'm gonna go to the Peterson Museum later this week. And we'll see what else we got around the L.A. area. In the meantime, I will see everybody in the next one. Bye-bye.